Hello guys and welcome back once again in that 360 printing tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to do a wooden frame sublimation. So without any further ado, let's open our Adobe Photoshop and let us proceed with our printing. We need to create a new canvas. So we need to select an A4 size paper with a 300 dpi resolution and a CMYK as a color mode. Then we press OK. Let's open the image that I have downloaded earlier from the internet and drag it in our canvas. Resize the image to fit in our canvas and adjust the color to give more vibrancy in our picture. Then let's proceed with our printing. As normal procedure, select the sublimation printer and hit the print settings. Select the same document size and paper type and make sure to select high for quality. Select mirror image as additional settings and finally, change the orientation to landscape. Press OK and proceed with our printing. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to keep you more updated in our upcoming tutorials. Mark up the image to the picture frame and cut the white lid. Make sure to remove the thin plastic protector, otherwise it will ruin our printing. Attach the printed image using a thermal tape to make sure that it will not move during the heat press. Switch on the machine and set the temperature to 200 degrees Celsius and 150 seconds for the timer. Don't forget to like, 
subscribe and hit the notification bell to keep you more updated in our upcoming tutorials. Check the machine and adjust the pressure accordingly. I'm adding a plain white paper underneath the wooden frame to protect the pad and so that the excess ink won't transfer directly to my rubber pad. Now that we're all set, let's press the frame and wait for 150 seconds. Let's remove the paper and check the printouts. Be careful in removing the paper because it's really hot. Much better if you will use a heat resistant gloves or towel in removing the paper. The colors are so vibrant and colorful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to keep you more updated in our upcoming tutorials. As you can see, this ink may have been transferred and left some marks on my rubber pad if I didn't put this paper. <laughs> 